New York City. This is an urban jungle where the space is scarce, time is limited, and traffic, well, abundant. In such an environment, certain modes of transportation seem more appropriate than others. Most of the space of the pedicab is really usable, used, and so there's not a lot of excess. Um, it's a very lean beast, you know, whereas anything that is powered by, say, oil, you could say has a lot of, um, you know, unnecessary weight and, and size to it. Logically, we would expect the local government to foster species like pedicabs rather than more intrusive ones. Generally, the attitude of the city towards pedicabs has been unknown until just recently. Rather than kind of holding our hands in the whole process and nurturing us like you're a green business, you're sustainable, you're going to help us with our um, congestion problems possibly, you might help us with our air quality. They let pedicabs proliferate and then suddenly there was a backlash. We were like a, a wild beast that needed taming. Taming or extermination. It seems like the city council picked the second option. In February 2007, the city council, governed by Speaker Christine Quinn, passed what became known as the pedicab law. It's going to regulate the industry and it's going to make everyone come onto the same playing field. So, you know, the public will know that every pedicab out there um, has insurance, which isn't the case right now. Then there are, are troubling aspects of the pedicab law. One of the main provisions that brought panic among the pedicab's population is a quota that sounds more like a call for extermination. Now some drivers think that's a good thing. They want less competition. Really in the end it'll be a good thing. Though the cap that they put on us is uh, um, capricious and arbitrary. We think they intentionally picked it low as a favor to the taxi cab medallion lobby. happened is that it created a stampede of people speculating in the pedicab market, so many that it created a lottery. People who really didn't even own pedicabs were competing with people who had owned pedicabs for years. And that's created infighting within the, within the community, the pedicab community. The Consumer Affairs Department, which is the agency that's going to be responsible, they admitted that this is the first time they've ever regulated a new industry and put a cap on it as well. So they're in completely uncharted waters. Another controversial provision of the law stipulates that the police could ban pedicabs from any part of town where traffic is considered too important. This law gives them the ability to say, you know what, it's so crowded, we're not going to let pedicabs into Midtown for the entire month of December, and even a little bit of November and a little bit of January. They can declare martial law on one industry. They can't do that for any other industry. They can blame pedicabs you know, the, the small vehicles that squeeze around traffic when it's congested, for congestion. Meanwhile, you know, Hummer limos are fine. They don't cause congestion, right? And it was Christine Quinn's administration that introduced the really severe clauses to the bill after the public hearings. Which is why the mayor vetoed it. His veto against her really evil bill was the first time a mayor had vetoed anything in like 20 years. So you can imagine how bad the bill was. They overrode his veto and they're still trying to enforce the bill. She also controls the budget. If a city council member has 10 projects he or she wants funded in his or her district, does it help to go against the speaker on a very political issue like this? So this is partly the way the political machine works in New York. Um, and we're the victim of that. We're part of that environmental um, movement that is going against some very entrenched political and economic interests, including the automobile industry and the oil industry. We could go through this entire process, suffer the, the consequences of the severe aspects of the pedicab law, and then be kicked out of Midtown, which is where the pedicabs are needed the most. In a city where all powered species seem to reign even over human beings, 
What are the politicians doing to ensure a more sustainable living environment? One might wonder, is New York City Council fostering greener modes of transportation or hunting them down?